Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woke, I'm here with Zen. Hello. And we're here for Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force. Get ready for the amazing reveal. You're not going to be ready for this. I hyped this up to you beforehand, but you're not going to be ready for this reveal. Wait for it. Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah! I'm Wingman, let's go! <laughs> this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Tag Force. I'm back with Zen to play another Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Well, I think- Yeah. Check out all these characters from Season 1 of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. You got Chaz. Well, no, see, that's late season Chaz, because he's not in the blue anymore. Oh, it is. That's right. Don's Lug, looking amazing in 3D. The Ojama King. Alexis, looking kind of sad. She yeah, always looks a little sad, because she's like, oh, I'm the only girl character, which means I can't ever be the protagonist in a Yu-Gi-Oh! It's true. Not until Blair shows up. And Blair, I don't think Blair's in this game. Cyrus doing his best with the gyroids. Bastion, the only time he ever gets top billing in anything. I think from this point on, he stops being used very often. Oh wait, where's Chumley? There's no Chumley, the, the, the fat koala man. Fat <laughs> koala duelist too, because he quits to go be a designer. So he didn't. He doesn't get the rights to be in Tag <laughs> You don't know how much it feels like to watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX opening and goes like, Damn, there's a fat guy finally. Representation. Oh, I guess Blair is in this game. Along with everyone else. Man, there's so many characters. So, why Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Attack Force? One, because I did not feel like grinding Tristan forever in Rush of Destruction. So we're just going to play a new Yu-Gi-Oh! game. Conan jumps Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force. That's right. So we're going to probably... Are we going to beat this game, Zen? Are we going to do... Absolutely! Look at our <laughs> boy right here! <laughs> What's his name? Look at our boy. <laughs> can, it, can it not be? Can it not be PSPP one, please? Ah oh, shit, PSPP one. All right. We need to give him a proper top. How the fuck do I? God damn it, the PSP. How did anyone like this? How did? <laughs> what the fuck do I do? How do I get it to high? What? None of these buttons make. Okay, I see the shift. It's select. God damn. P... what was his name? Uh, P it, it, the default name was PPSSPP. PPSSPP1. Because obviously I would say we can't use Yom again because he exists in a different universe. This is the... the rise and fall of PPSSPP1. <laughs> The amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! GX character. Alright, let's go into it. Yes. Please put it in my totally real memory stick that I'm using. Oh Definitely man. It actually exists. They're using yellow Ojama heavy in this game. Alright, so obviously we're gonna do story mode. From part one. First May Monday transfer. Who's this guy? Could you say his name before I press X? Because you know everything about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I'm sorry, what, what did you ask me? I said, do you know this guy's name before I press continue? That's, uh, Chancellor Shepard. Alright, let's see. Damn, you're right. Got him! <laughs> He's aiming to create the next generation. <laughs> Study hard to become the next king of games, just like Yugi. He totally did it just by studying super hard. He did not have an ancient pharaoh <laughs> who constantly won every single time. He definitely did not have the spirit of a... Mind reality bending pharaoh. <laughs> totally didn't. So let me tell you this right now. I love the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX concept because I like the idea of fuck school. What if I just learned about dual monsters? It might be the greatest uh, idea ever put forth for a series. And the best part is that Kaiba made the school. Yeah, that is very good. I can talk to Shepard again. Oh, fucking great. Whoa, whoa. All right, I'm going to go to class. But I think this game, actually, you do go to class and stuff. It's like the ultimate simulator of what I wanted Yu-Gi-Oh! GX to be, which was not a, a, st uh, a story of a man slowly losing his mind, but a kid going to dual school. <laughs> go to classroom, I think. Wow. Oh, look at it, It's Crowler. I remember him. Oh, fuck, this guy's face. You know, his name his name in English is funny, this Professor Crowler, but uh -huh. his Japanese name is also funny. Do you know what it is? What is it? It is Kronos de Medici. <laughs> oh, Kronos? 
Kronos de Medici is his Japanese name. That's a very good name. He looks like a Kronos. Valian Crowler. Like, like, a lot of people give a lot of shit to the English names of characters, but I actually really do like the English names. I feel like they keep a form of spirit to the names. Ah, yeah. Here's our good buddy, Jaden. And Cyrus, who will be our second buddy. We are actually looking to replace Cyrus in this playthrough. <laughs> yeah, we need to we need to get a better second buddy. Don't become a slacker. PPSSPP1, like don't become a slacker. <laughs> so wait, do you think they say PPSSPP1, or do you think, do you think they say... Sp1? Sp1? <laughs> That's a question that we'll have to find <laughs> over the course of it. I assume that they're saying the full PPSSPP1. PPSSPP1? Yeah. But maybe it kind of depends. Maybe some people call him, like, Jaden calls him Sp. And uh, uh, oh, Bastion Cuffalo. It's like, a, it's like a affectionate thing. Yeah. That's his but, friend name. Is just... But Bastion's full on, Oh yes, PPSSPP1, good day. How can I... <laughs> How art thou? How art thou today? <laughs> Let's talk to Chaz. Obviously he wants to be our friend. What do you want? Slacker for Slacker. Talk to Chaz Princeton. I love Chaz's voice as well. <laughs> I love the English voice. <laughs> In both English and Japanese, Chaz is the best character in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. I bet. He's the funniest fucking thing. Look at the humongous resources put into Alexis's model! Hello. I love Alexis's vest, because imagine how tight that vest must be to be <laughs> suctioned onto her like that. Like, imagine how uncomfortable she has to be at all times. That's the thing, that's the- For her to look like that in that vest. See, look, she's already kind of down with us. She wants to talk to us. I also like that they tell you the deck here. But yeah, I, the Alexis' design is amazing. As I was telling a coworker, because let me tell you about my job when we were allowed to go inside the office, I had a conversation with my coworker about the size of Alexis' boobs. And she said, like, I don't remember being them being that big. Like, I thought she was actually kind of small. And I said, you need to go back to GX and see him again. And I think later on the next day she said, you were not kidding. What is with the size of them? <laughs> Zane, no need to glare. Stop staring at her chest, man. It's not cool. I don't know. I don't care that the year is 2005 in this game. <laughs> All right, let's go see the others. There's Bastion. Can I just- there's no one to talk- that's mean. How could you say that about Bastion? I know he's barely there, but come on. There we go. <laughs> they actually go up and press up to him. Yeah. How come he got to keep his Japanese last name? No, no, Jaden Yuki. Never mind. Fair enough. I don't know why they do that. Like, I don't know, like, why they kept Misawa, but, uh... All the other ones were like not too much. I have to go out of my way to talk. Also, to they changed a lot of weird names. Like in, so you know who Jesse Anderson is, right? The, yeah. the guy with the crystal beasts. Yes. Well, in Japanese, his name is Johan Anderson, and they're like, no, we can't do that. We gotta change that shit. Chumley Huffington. Chumley Huffington. I flunked the gear, so I'm still a freshman. Oh, I love Chumley. There will be no Chumley slander on this video series at all. Listen, listen. That dude only wants to eat grilled cheese, alright? <laughs> he's he's alright by me. He's living the life I want to, which is failing class and eating grilled cheese. Failing in, in Yu-Gi-Oh! school and eating grilled cheese. Yeah, and playing with koala decks. I actually played with uh, Des Koala in, my, in the old times, before Synchros ruined the game. Hey, you're the new kid I heard all about. Jaden. The top frosh stoolers? <laughs> what? what? Fro frosh like freshman. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, what? Oh, okay, so you're gonna have to r remind me on the slang on Yu-Gi-Oh! GX because I do not remember Frosh being a thing. Remember, uh, Jaden is what they, they think. Like, four kids looked at Jaden and they were like, this dude is totally 2004 cool. He is. Like, this, is, this dude is definitely radical. Fucking rad. Alright. This dude says Uber a lot, for sure. Do you think Jaden would say poggers if he were in the modern day? A hundred and fifty million percent, yes. 
<laughs> it would be instead of his catchphrase being "Get your game on," it would be "Let's have a Poggers duel." <laughs> Get your pog on. Get your Poggers on. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is Elemental Heroes totally pog. <laughs> Let me tell you, Elemental Hero pog man. All right. I don't now even know I what my... Over my Poggers face down. <laughs> I, I throw down a Pogger face down. I used to have a dude who played Yu-Gi-Oh! who totally would say, I throw down a face down. And once I remembered, wait, that's what Jaden says. We would never let it go. We, we would always, <laughs> we would always remind him of like, so we would basically like uh, talk like Jaden to him. And he's like, shut up. It's cool. And he was right. And, you know, now I'm here to say it. Years later, he was actually 100% right. So we're going to actually duel Cyrus because apparently our deck is so bad, but it's okay. We're fighting Cyrus. What the fuck is our deck, Zed? Yeah. <laughs> Jellyfish. Flying Penguin. <laughs> oh, God. The Kraken. Piss All right. Oh, man. It makes it seem like Crowler is making fun of us by telling us how to play the game. This is the worst hand in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. I do have six cards. Thank you very much. All right, so who are we gonna summon? We got for one. Flying pack. These all these are fucking twelve. Kappa Avenger. That's my favorite Avengers character coming soon to Marvel's What If? The Kappa Avenger. I don't think we're gonna be able to beat Cyrus with this deck. I know vehicle roids in the beginning weren't the most amazing cards in the world, but. They have to be better than this, right? Uh, what is also this dueling music? First of all, you draw a card. Okay, thankfully Cyrus is also not very good at the game, so... He doesn't know what to do either. Never yeah, mind, we're gonna... <laughs> Crowler. He's actively- has there ever been a person actively looking for a 13-year-old uh, to fail as hard as Crowler? <laughs> Sorry. Oh, man. I like how there's this assumption that these kids are going to a school literally for dueling. Like, like this is like Duelist College, right? Yeah. And they have no fucking clue how to play the game. They're yeah, like, they have. I've never fucking played Yu-Gi-Oh in my life, but so... I want to go to school to become a professional duelist. Okay, so tell me, you're telling me I draw? All right, now for this, remember you want to try and have a good amount of magic and trap cards. Magic cards? Don't know what you're talking about. I also like that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games have not changed from this format because they basically figured it out. And it's never changed from this. Ah, oh, fucking Bastion. Of course he's gonna bring up standby phase and end phase. Alright, we're gonna do this. Yeah, battle time! Hell yeah. Go Kappa Avenger. Take down Jenna Goma? Gani Gumi? Uh, Avenger. Yeah, he's the Avenging Kappa. He goes perfect with the fake Pog deck we invented for Jaden. <laughs> oh man, my life points. That was the one thing I saw that he saw that I thought was actually pretty funny. Yeah, I'm gonna attack you directly, Cyrus. Get ready for all 1,200 points of damage from the Flying Penguin. Got you. End phase. Do you think we will draw a magic or trap card next turn? Or is it going to be another jellyfish and or kraken? I really hope that it's another jellyfish and or kraken. I'm guessing, just on my understanding of how these games work, that you do not have any cards in your deck that are not monster cards right now. Yeah, we're going to be able to check our deck after this. So we'll see. It was that, is that oh, Avenging oh, right. Defender of the Sea. Defender of the Sea. Hey, he's got 1,300 attack points. That's this pretty our, good for this. Yeah, this is our main boy right now, Defender of the Sea. Get out of here, full Kappa Avenger. You're no longer needed. Because now we have the ultimate Defender of the Sea. Alright. 
I also like that we are going to have to do this because uh, we're going to obviously play through Tag Force 2 and 3 to complete the GX trifecta here. Um, we're going to have to go through this tutorial every single time. <laughs> But it's okay, Cyrus is pretty close to losing. There's no way that he has any cards in his entire deck that could beat us. At best, he's got like, what? The... No, he doesn't even have a fusion deck. What deck are you using, Cyrus? I assume he is just like... Oh, he's got a... Whatever that is. Nick he's Kogel got... number one. The Pussycat... What do we got here? The Aqua Snake. It, this is that's awkward too because this is the one where uh, Cyrus is the one who's like unhealthily obsessed with Dark Magician Girl. It is. So you think that this oh, is? I his don't. I don't. Yeah, I don't like him having those kinds of of cards. Show details. Oh, how dare you, <laughs> card genre none. <laughs> Look at the first line of that fucking description. A pussycat fairy, contrary to her lovely beauty, she claws at her enemies. I that's not what I like. With any of that. That's what I like, Jaden! <laughs> you think Alexis would do that, bro? You think? I'm gonna say the answer is yes. I'm gonna find out after. I'm gonna get to top of Obelus and get all the women, Jaden! If only that was actually how he's like. Unfortunately, he would actually be very sad. <laughs> he would not say any of that stuff. But I think it's way funnier if you uh, take Cyrus's very shy nature and actually make him a complete asshole, <laughs> like his brother. So he's still, like, shy, but he's also a giant douche. Him? Man, I just can't win. Yeah, because that's what he is. He's basically the Charlie Brown of dueling. Yeah, he is. It's not nice to bully weaker players. Oh. I think Crowler's the last person who said who wants to say that because didn't is it didn't he try and go yeah, out of his he way? He literally to... started the fucking thing with like I hope this kid fucking sucks. <laughs> I can't wait to expel him. <laughs> and then he fights Jaden because he's pretty sure he can win, and then Jaden wins through. But <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Listening to all that gives me heartburn. He truly is a machine. Alright, I think we're gonna be able to pick our buddy. No, we have to go to the dorm. Who's this guy's name? I forget his name constantly. Uh, yeah, Professor Banner. Damn it. Oh, that's right, because he's named after... <laughs> I remember, because it's, it's like the Hulk. Banner. Alright, let's go. We're gonna find Banner. Yay, we get to live in the shitty meow. Pharaoh. Meow. I also remember Banner having a slightly Asian accent in the English version, or is that just my mind remembering things wrong? Uh, you know... That sounds familiar, but I, season one is a bit of a blur for me. No, that's fair. I think you mostly stick to the Japanese one because do I speak with energy or do I speak quietly? Well, one, I mostly stick to Japanese, and two, season one fucking sucks. It does. Which one of these? Which one is PPSPP1? Uh, is he speaking with energy or so speaks do quietly? We, do we want to be like like Jaden 2 or are we like more reserved? Are we are we more like... Like the Thoughtful. like the the opposite of Jaden. Yeah, are are we and Jaden like uh are, are we opposites, yeah. I think we'll be opposites, so I think we'll I think we can speak quietly then. I think that makes more sense. And again, we are trying to steal Man, thanks Jaden, what a dick <laughs> I think the Duke Kids got depression. That's not very fun. <laughs> Well, why wouldn't you be if you're put in Slifer Red? Oh man, we made everyone I waste. Love... This is like not a new observation about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX by any means. But I absolutely love that Iba made these dorms and he made Obelisk the best one and he made Yugi's God card the shittiest one. And he makes these kids live in like a fucking closet. He does. It's just like a shed. And he's like, yeah, this is the Yugi dorm. 
This will show you ye. That's actually what he wants to do when he meets up with the Pharaoh at the end of, um... At the end of... Fuck. And it's not Bonds Me on Time. What the fuck is that movie called? The one we did an entire video for. Are you talking about the newest one? Yeah, the newest one. Dark Side of Dimensions? Yeah, Dark Side of Dimensions is that at the end, Kaiba actually tells the Pharaoh, I made the worst... <laughs> I made the worst dorm slifer red. <laughs> That's, That's He goes all the way to the afterlife just to tell him, I named the worst storm in my dual school after you. And then he goes, <laughs> That's when his spirit <laughs> visits Jaden and gives him the uh, the, the wing Karibo because he's like, I'm going to fucking show Kaiba. I'm going to give this kid a wing Karibo. We're going to make him the best life of red just to piss him off. Just to piss off Kaiba. That's my in-canon version as to what, what, why Yugi is for some reason in the Yu Yu GX timeline when he is supposed to be gone. He only did it to spite Kaiba. Class begins at 8 a.m. The time appears at the top right of the corner. It's 5 5 45 right now. You should still have some time. Take a walk around the island. Use the directional buttons to exit the room. To record your progress in the game, select save points. Alright, if you end the game without saving, you will return to your previous save point. So let's see, we can actually look at our deck now. And I think that's what we'll end this uh, episode it for. It has to be only monster cards. I would be very surprised if there's uh, anything else in it. Yes, I guess. Oh, then, now we're gonna take the, the tour. Oh, hell yeah, we got blue eyes. No, Why it's, the fuck? It's... We have a blue eyed boy dragon? <laughs> I don't think we do. Why I do think we this... have all these cards? Oh, it's a sample. Okay. Yeah, it would be really oh, funny if it turned out we had three blue eyes that we just weren't using. <laughs> nah, man. Aqua Snake. That's where it's at. Don't tell me we have the shitty big wave small wave. What the big fuck is our strategy? Small wave. Let's do we even go. Have... It's all water monsters and one copy of Big Wave Small Wave. You have got to be shitting me right now. This is the deck they gave us? We have fucking blue eyes in the trunk and we're walking fucking Big Wave Small Wave? Cronkadillus. Okay, now I need to know for sure if we have these cards in our... In our, uh... A trunk or not, or whether the game is just like t uh, taunting us. Oh, we have like some other stuff, I guess. We'll find the full deck when we finish this. Oh, yeah. Am I just moving? I am totally just moving cards to the actual deck, aren't I? I like how they give you the, the four elemental heroes, and then they're like blue eyes and dark magician. <laughs> Why the fuck not? Why not? Okay, we can see it all now. All right, let's, let's check out the damage that we got. We got Crocodilus. We got... What the fuck is this? Mech Bass? Look at Mech Bass! He's just a robot bass with a gun on it. Oh, what? I was about to say, oh, he's 1800. No, he's a fucking star. Fucking rules, dude. It does rule. Mother Grizzly, you I love Mother Grizzly. fucking rules. Oh, we got Night in the Gate attack. There's always that. No, Penguin. This might actually be the best card in our deck. Night Lizard, Salvage, Sea Common, Share the Pain, Spiritual. Why do we have Starboy? Hey, it's Starboy. He made it to the new series. Starboy, yeah. Steel <laughs> Shield. Wood remains back. Yeah, we do. We need to find Wood Remains somewhere in here. Two pronged attack. Yeah, select and destroy two of your monsters, to destroy one of your opponents. Totally worth it. Water Dragon Fairy. This is only here for the Cyrus factor. It's yeah, the only reason if you play that card, if you play that card, Cyrus is like, I'm not, I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> I can't attack that. I can't attack that. I'm not gonna do that. And then we added three blue eyes and the dark magician. So yeah, that's totally. All right, let's see what we can add here. We got dark magician, three blue eyes, elemental hero Avion, Brisinatrix, Clayman, Sparkman, and Summon Skull. I like how they they were not willing to call her Cinetrix her Japanese name, which is just Birth Burst Lady. And really? so they're like, yeah, it's just Burst Lady. But they're like, you know what? Yeah, we're gonna have to make this uh, a Dominatrix reference for the <laughs> children. <laughs> That's what the kids like. So we're gonna take away this one blue eyes that we added. This blue eyes. 
We're gonna go back to the... What? Alright, I, I understand what you're trying to say to me. I know what forbidden cards are. Actually, I don't understand why there's a limited list for this game. Right? Like, it's a... It's a digital card game. Why does there need to be a ban list? I think this was one of the ones they wanted you to be like, play with your friends with the real rules, but like no one fucking did that. Yeah, no one's gonna do PSP, that. Dog, like... Yeah, exactly. Everyone was playing on the DS. Because you could afford a DS. You couldn't afford a PSB. Alright, got you. Ah, oh, you bastards! We actually don't. Okay, so this is our actual deck, I think. Okay, this is our actual deck. We have Amphibian Beast, Aquamador, Back to Square One, Bolt Penguin. Bolt Penguin? Look, dude, okay, wait, go back to the Bolt Penguin. Hold on. Yeah. Go back to Bolt Penguin. We got it. We're here. Bolt Penguin. <laughs> Look at this. What happened? Who drew this? <laughs> That's the the main guy from Yu-Gi-Oh. He drew. He took time out of his day to draw a bold penguin. It's a penguin, but his arms got cut off, and so now he has the whips of the bad guy from Iron Man Two. <laughs> <laughs> totally does. Oh man, actually, you know what? Everything about Bold Penguin's life looks like he is suffering. <laughs> now that I think Look about it. Him. Look at this poor fucking creature. He's an amputee. <sighs> And also, he's a water type, so he's gonna get hurt by the fucking electricity. <laughs> oh, poor. I'm, I can't look at Bolt Penguin anymore. We got Cannonball, Spear, Fish Head, Shellfish, Dian Kato, the Cure Master, Divine Wrath. Okay. Dust actually Tornado. Actually, a really good card to have yeah. at the beginning of this. Yeah, this is too. This is actually pretty actually, solid. Yeah, Dust Tornado is also pretty good. Fiend, Kraken, Flying Penguin, oh, we, have, oh, we got Gaga Gigo? Fuck yeah, Gaga Gigo! I really hope we get Go Giga Gaga Gigo. Oh, we're gonna try and find our boy Gaga Gigo Gaga Gigo. And we have Giant Red Sneak Snake, which, oh, you know, not as cool as Gaga Gigo and 50 less attack. What are you doing? Giant Trunade. This deck's actually not that bad. Humanoid Slime, 2000 oh, that's defense. Decent. This is definitely better than the one we had in <laughs> Wretch of Destruction. Oh man, this is the anti Cyrus card. This was the true sign of if you were growing up in this era is looking at Maiden of the Aqua and going, hmm, there's something about this card, something about it that makes me want to play it and I can't put my finger on it right now. Mother Grizzly, Negate Attack, Night Lizard, Penguin. Oh, we have Nightmare Steel Cage too. Yeah, isn't that just like a shittier version of uh, Swords of Revealing Light? Yeah, it is, where you can't attack either. But also it's like, no one can put their monsters or something? Yeah, cards are my face up. Ooh, I don't remember. Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Sure. Power of Kaishin. Salvage. Oh, we got Sea Serpent of Darkness. So yeah, this deck's not that bad. Share the Pain. This is a decent start, I'd say. Not that bag, and then, and then also uh, we have stim pack. Yeah. This is what we as a nation need, a stim pack. <laughs> stim pack. <laughs> Gives it a tax 700 and increases, but it decreases it by 200. Those are taxes that you have to pay after the tax. <laughs> They're coming for us. All right. I think that's good for this episode. We're going to keep on playing. I, I, I was funny because I was like, oh, how how big could episode one be? But totally, it's almost 30 minutes long. We're back to our old <laughs> style of playing Yu-Gi-Oh! We're back games. to it, baby. All right, everyone. See you in the next video. Say goodbye, Zen. Bye, everybody. Pray for Bolt Penguin. <laughs>